Okay, here we are for world's greatest, well, great piano music. Now, I wanted something for piano, because I am, believe it or not, I'm not the kind of person that can be classical and can wind down and just take it easy with things. You know, not everybody can do that, I understand, but that's someone like me sometimes. Okay, let's see if we can get a year on this. Reader's Digest, something, no, there's nothing on the back. It looks disgusting. Okay, uh, let's take this booklet out. All the big booklets this guy I bought from. Something else, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, then it tells you all the piano music. Oh, wait a second. Where's number one? Let's hope not. Number one's not there. I mean, I got a good deal, but that's number two. There it is. They didn't put it in the right order. <laughs> okay. Let's look at this first. Number one. Damage report on vinyl. Well, I guess no one likes piano music. This is a little wear and tear there, but other than this, this looks pretty nice. A little blue in the middle. Most vinyls are just a plain color compared to that. This isn't too bad. But then again, how many people are going to listen to piano music? So, <laughs> okay. Take that out. Look at the second one. This little one looks a little more used up. Um, yeah, there's a scratch over there. Um, most of the vinyls I bought used, I have to say, have been in pretty good shape when it comes to playing-wise. You know, there's a vinyl that looks pretty damn good. I have the Jurassic Park, and that one is completely, um, there's like a five second that gets skipped. And I wanted to buy another one, but that one was like $100 on eBay. I bought it for like 50 so I'm not going to pay 100 bucks. All right, number three. Let's take a look. There's all kind of way. We never looked for a year, did we? No, we're not going to find a year, I guess. None of this stuff has any years on it. No. No no year at all. Has all this other stuff on it, though. This one's in pretty good condition. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out why they don't put a year on it to say when it was made. Well, let's look on back of here. I might say something. Nope. Um, put that back. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. No, here's the fifth one. Yeah, some people, the people just don't put these things in right anymore. This one has a little less on it than all the other ones, but that's because it's the last final volume. Okay, look at that. And look at that. Okay, Reader's Digest. You know, I tried to... I've seen Writer's Reader's Digest before. I've seen old copies and stuff. It's that's boring. So maybe I'll get disappointed, but you know what? When I tell I'm not Siri, Siri's too stupid. I tell Alexa to um to uh listen to classical music, I I'm not disappointed. Like I get a lot of piano, violin and all that other kind of stuff. So Put it like that. That's how they put it in. Technically, you're supposed to put it in the other way. See? That's how I put it in. Uh, all right. I'm going to remember to put the cover on. Once again, we have no year. I would rather have a year to all these things so I could... More people would find it on YouTube if I put the year next to it. But that's not going to happen. All right. Bye-bye.